welcome back to uh, the another day of vlogmas i don't even know what day it is i've already missed a day so obviously i'm doing really well again this year but i did tell you guys on day one that i might miss a couple days while i'm still here at school because i'm busy and it's finals week and i basically took all my finals on dead week and then yesterday was football day so i have excuses but i'm back and we shouldn't miss another day day till it's over hopefully anyway today is sunday and today is my last day in alabama until january give you a little rundown of what we're doing today i'm literally about to leave for the gym with madeline i am deep cleaning like my whole room bathroom i just put the dishes in so that i can start on the kitchen after that i have laundry in I have everything laid out on the floor because I'm taking everything out of drawers and reorganizing literally everything so that way when I come back it is just super clean because whoops sorry I have my thumb over the camera I can't start like a new year and a new school year and be productive with a messy room I think I said that in another vlog because I was gonna do this and I started and then I didn't have time and today is literally the last day that I have to do it so I have a busy day because along with well bad hair day the gym and cleaning I have two finals that I need to get done one that has to be done tonight and one is due Tuesday but I really want to get it done today because tomorrow I'm leaving Alabama like I said I'm leaving at like 6 or 7 a.m. and going to Wilmington North Carolina so if you guys have been following me for a little while you know my boyfriend just moved there for his job two weeks ago like last week he's been there for like a week a solid week he moved in a week ago today that's right but I haven't seen him in two weeks and he doesn't think I'm coming until New Year's because that's like our plan he thinks I have finals this upcoming week but since I got done with all my finals early where I'm like a JCM major a lot of our stuff is online I gave my speech on the first day optional instead of the last day and I don't have any in-class finals next week everything's due online so he doesn't know that I told him that I have finals Monday Tuesday and Thursday just to throw him for a loop so tomorrow's vlog will be me surprising him in North Carolina so I'm really excited so that's why I have to get everything done today so I don't expect to get there until around five or six which is perfect because he doesn't get off work until like four or five so I just like sneakily got him to tell me all of his information just so that I would have it in my phone what apartment building and number and all that and basically I'm just gonna make sure he's home and just show up and knock on the door so it's gonna be a lot of fun make sure you're subscribed if you're not so you can watch that but for now we're gonna continue on with our day and it's gonna be really busy so I'm just gonna bring you all along and do everything that I do on camera okay I have these Keurig cups and we're gonna go put it in and go ahead and make it and stick it in the fridge while we are at the gym so that way whoops I don't have to go to Starbucks after the gym and we can just come here and have iced coffee all right you guys I'm on my way to the gym now I'm just gonna meet Madeline there I am really sore from doing legs on Friday I didn't go yesterday and I literally like can't walk right because they hurt so bad so I told her that I will just meet her there because I doubt I'll be there as long as she will I'm just gonna do a lot of upper body and ab stuff because my legs literally hurt so bad like I don't even think I can do cardio we usually both do like a workout and cardio and then go sit in the sauna and I like don't have that much time today so I was just like let's just meet there because I doubt that I'll be there as long as you will so I'm on my way. It's 11.30 on the dot. I'm gonna go. It's so funny. They probably think I'm lazy at Planet Fitness because that's where I have a gym membership at, but I lately have just been working out at the student rec and then going over to Planet Fitness to lay in the tanning bed, and that's what we're gonna do again today. Side note, guys, it is very warm today in Alabama. It's 65 degrees. It feels amazing outside. I'm on a t-shirt and leggings, and yesterday it was kind of the same it just felt really good so I'm very happy that it's not cold I just got to you can't see it but back there Planet Fitness I did cardio and abs at the rec and I wanted to wait and do arms here so I really wasn't at the rec very long at all like 40 minutes I guess I'm actually really sleepy which is so unusual because usually like if I'm tired I'll go work out and it'll wake me up so I'm really happy that I have some coffee waiting on me back at the house. But we're gonna go kill this last part of my workout. It's honestly so weird that I go to two different gyms. <laughs> and then we're gonna tan and then we're gonna go home. Oh 
Okay, I did arms and I lay in the tanning bed and I feel like my face is already getting red. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go get gas on my way home because I really don't have any other reason to leave the house again today. And I also need to go get shaving cream. So we're gonna go get those two things and then go home and we have got to do finals. Also, I left those clothes in the washer so I need to put them in the dryer like immediately. Oh my God, my nose is so stopped up. I don't know why I'm literally always sick on my face is burning but i woke up like sneezy and stuffy so love my life what is up i am looking really gross uh hello clearly the tanning bed burnt me again i can't stop sneezing i don't know if it's allergies or if i'm getting the flu or a cold or what's going on but i've sneezed like legitimately over 50 times today and I'm pissed about it, but it's okay. I did finish one of my finals. I'll show you, I'll prove it. I'm also in the middle of putting away everything. I have this ginormous bag of laundry that I just finished. So I have to put all this away. And then I just have whites and grays that need to go in the washer. And then I'll be done with all of that and I can start packing. I'm gonna use my two really big suitcases to take everything home i'm gonna put everything that i'm gonna need for this first week in north carolina and richmond in one suitcase and then everything else plus like whatever like else i can fit in that other one in a different suitcase because i know that i'll need to have everything like organized together so i'm not digging through two suitcases while i'm at tanner's house or in richmond at jake's house hopefully i can be productive by doing that because the last time i went home i had to stay on that at the lake house the night before i went home because I was driving to Knoxville to get my hair done and I forgot to pack two bags. So I had to bring in my whole big suitcase and rummage through it just to get a couple things out and it was really annoying. I'm assuming that in total it's gonna take me about two hours to do all of this as well as wash the other clothes. Hopefully I can get it all done in a timely manner because I still have to edit this Bama Network video from last week and I probably won't end up getting it up until tomorrow but I'm uploading day eight of Vlogmas today. I missed yesterday so playing catch up but that's why I'm trying to keep vlogging like random nonsense today so that I don't have to miss another day and I can have this scheduled to go up tomorrow while I'm in Wilmington because tomorrow will be the really fun vlog where I get to surprise. Thank you all for watching so far. I'm going to show you now my final. The lighting is like better for some reason when the light is behind me. Isn't that so strange? Okay so here's what's going on right now. This is all the editing for day eight. Okay, so I just now noticed that it's only 6, like 15, and I was thinking that it was like 8, so that makes me feel so much better because my goal is to be in the bed around 10, and I still need to shower. Okay, so this is basically what my final project was, was to do a website. Let's see if I can get to it. Okay, yeah. Um, here, I'll just click on view site. And basically we had to put everything, one assignment from each like lesson we learned, I guess, and talk about like what we learned. And this is my friend Emily. She would kill me if she knew she was on here, but she participated in being my subject for a photography thing we had to do. And we have to just explain things about all of them. So we had to make a poster design and we had to do an audio project. So we had to make a sound cloud and put the audio project in there. And I this is just my Google picture, so that's why that pops up, which is kind of awkward, but this was our audio track that we had to do. And then our documentary video, I did a documentary on my mom because she is psycho and she runs marathons, so that was that. So you just put it all in one website, and that was the final. So it was actually really easy, just very time-consuming and annoying. And so now, as soon as this video is done uploading, as you can see up here, in the corner maybe if it'll focus it won't focus there we go it's almost done so i'll upload that probably around seven if i had to guess or 6 30. oh my gosh nothing's focusing so anyways we're gonna deal with all of this laundry and packing and i'll just kind of once i get everything folded and put away i'll go ahead and start show me all what all I'm packing to go home because I guess that can be kind of interesting. I don't know why, but I always watch packing videos when people are like going on trips. I don't know, but we can also document my face just getting redder and redder as the day goes on. 
Okay, so it's done uploading and now all I have to do is press save because I just put it on public and now it's ready for you all to watch. But this video is going up tomorrow, so it'll, you know, never mind. Okay guys, I've got everything put away now. I've got trash galore of just things that I need to throw away. I've got my bed is in the process of being made. I'm in the process of cleaning out my junk and I've got all my stuff that I'm packing, medicines and hair products and stuff laid out on top of that. So that's still messy, but before I finish making my bed, I'll just show you all what I meant by organizing my drawers so that it's easier to pack. So I have some jeans and shorts and bras in the top and sweatshirts here. So thankfully I'm packing a lot of this because I'm running out of room. This one and the one below it is like long sleeve and short sleeve t-shirts and some more hoodies. So I'm not even gonna bother pulling that out. I've got my shoes kind of scattered because I'm about to pack a lot of those. These are bathing suits and shorts and skirts. Um, this is all underwear and socks, a couple tank tops. Um, pajama pants, sweatpants, all my leggings workout tank tops and then of course I'm gonna have to pack a lot of this so I might leave it on the hangers but let's finish making the bed and then we're gonna pack this suitcase and that one that's under my bed cover okay so basically what we have going on right now is I've got some sweats and leggings and jeans and sweatshirts and skirts and shorts and belts and workout shirts and all the underwear and bras and socks and t-shirts i don't i probably should pack some more t-shirts laid out on the bed and what i'm about to do is dispute which ones i want to pack for the one week and then which ones i want to pack for the rest of the month i need to make sure i'm not overpacking, but also that i'm not forgetting anything and then my goal is to just carry all this out on hangers and sit it in the back of my car that's usually how i transport hang up clothes and then i don't know what i'll do with these i'll probably put them in my shoe bag sorry it's really dark but then i just have to organize and figure out what all is going on there and then i'm done actually besides taking out all this trash <laughs> while i'm thinking about it we're gonna go and put this in the keurig and make coffee and put it in the fridge so we'll have iced coffee to go on the road in the morning this is such a cute mug So since you're not allowed to put like Yetis and cups like that in the fridge and I don't have any other cups with lids, I have to use this and I'm just going to cover it with this so it doesn't all evaporate out overnight. Innovative. Bye, see you in the morning. I can literally see it steaming. Okay, also our latest Family Network video is on 99%. We are a whole week in a day late on uploading because the iron bowl was last saturday but better late than never so it'll be up tomorrow whenever you're watching this probably unless i don't get this up until tuesday